All right. So last time we saved Queen Lean from being, I guess, the Queen Lean cuisine. Cuisine? Cuisine. Cuisine? Cuisine. Cu cuisine? Cru... Qu... Cuisine. Cuisine? Cuis... Cuisine. No, cuisine. Cuisine? Cuis... You know what? There's a reason why I've failed every French class I've ever taken. Um, the point is, Meryl lives and everything is seemingly as it should be. I mean, I guess we'll maybe see in just a moment if everything is fine or not. But, I don't know. I guess we'll just go ahead and, you know, make our way back to where we came in. Because I believe that's where Luca said we were going last time. It's been like a week since I last played this. But I'm pretty certain that is what happened. I mean, either way is what we need to do. So, yeah. Also, this guy is actually kind of tough. I was not expecting that. Right, Meryl has no... anything. <laughs> I love Meryl's, like, little happy victory face. Ooh, Meryl got something, but of course, that was when I started mashing the button. So, um, how do we get home? Well, your highness, we... <laughs> I love her little, like, arm wave. Please, please, no, please, call me Meryl. Well then, Meryl, observe. Whoa! It, Luca, you're amazing. <laughs> Sorry, um, I should be more and humble in front of, uh, enough already. I'm a princess, but what does that mean? I can't do anything special, but you, you're incredible. I trade my name for your genius in a heartbeat. <laughs> well, um, if you say so. Anyway, um, I call these distortions gates. They're basically portals to the same location in a different time. But gates are unstable, and that's why they appear and disappear all the time. So I use the principle behind my telepod device to create this gate key. It's what's locking the gate in place. But why did this gate suddenly appear in the first place? Neither the tel- Either the telepod had something to do with it, or something else uh, made it. This is starting to sound complicated. Why don't we just head back to our time for now? Alright, uh, coming, Chrono? That is the right reshade, right? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna try and get good at just, like, switching those without drawing any attention whatsoever to it. But, yeah, you know, it's gonna take a little bit to get there. Whew! We made it! Chrono, Luca, why don't you come back with me to the castle? It would give me a chance to thank you properly for everything. I'm really... S I'm really sorry for putting you through this all, Meryl. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's the most fun I've had in months, and I made new friends, too. Chrono, <laughs> be a gentleman and take her home. I still need to do a little bit more snooping into why that gate appeared. See you again soon, Luca. Well, Chrono, are you ready to escort me home? I suppose so. <laughs> you know, you never said where exactly you live, but I feel like I can make a little bit of a guess. Also, who are you? The merchants who are in the square have all left to restock. Why not pay a visit to the town market? Right, I forgot about that. Yeah, everybody, like, 
leaves their tent because reasons, except for Mechlore. Hmm. Eh, whatever. It's not like it really matters that much. Also, again, I just love this music. I'm actually debating. Um, let's see what they have. Uh, Lane must be down to the pier again. That Fritz, where could he be? Uh, hello there. What can I do for you? Ooh, well, we've got some stuff. And I did say that... I Actually, I've said a few different things. I think what I'm going to do is I will only buy, like, some, I guess of these, but I think for all the equipment, I'm just going to rely on stuff that I find out in the wild. That way, I kind of have to be a little bit more clever about how I play this. So, yeah. Actually, then again, I could also just do that with all of these. I mean, either way, I think we're good for now, so... I, I just don't think I'm going to worry about it. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, well, I've never had anyone thank me for <laughs> window shopping. I can only assume you are Elaine. Oh, if only my dear Fritz would return. I'd ask for nothing more. He left on a journey and he's not returned yet. A mysterious whirlpool sometimes opens near here. What do you suppose could cause such a thing? Actually, wait, can we take the ferry? The fare to Poré is ten gold. Um... Hey, you know what? Let's just look around just a little bit. I mean, we can use the boat after all, so why not? And, you know, we can just see a little bit more of the world. It does bug me, though, of all of, like, the graphical overhaul stuff that I've done on this. I could not actually get the boat to actually retain, like, the really kind of pinkish, I guess a bit more of, like, a salmon-colored uh, hull. But, yeah. I take the ferry every chance I get. Cool. I want to ride the ferry. Cool. And here we are, in the southern continent. And to be fair, you know, we could walk here, but we do also have, I guess, the, uh, what's it called? The boat? Oh, no dialogue. <laughs> Just getting straight into it then. Uh, I don't remember what Luca had, but again, I'm not going to worry about it. Sometimes I kind of just like to see if they have anything cool. Actually, wait a minute. Do you think this guy will also make the beds? And you know what? We are a little low on health. Actually, how much money? Oh, no, no, no. We're fine. Uh, 20 gold paid in advance. Would you like to stay? Ah, uh, sure. Why not? <laughs> Very well. I do love all the characters' sleeping sprites. Oh, I don't think he's going anywhere. Yeah, like I said before, not every place has somewhere that does it, but a lot of places do. So, yeah. Um, I'm trying to debate if there's anywhere that we want to actually look around. And you know what? Maybe we'll just start with the mayor's manor. The children are slipping away from us. It's so painful to see. Oh, what's going on? I hate my dad more than anyone in the whole world. Oh. Dad loves money more than he loves me. <laughs> I run this town and I'm so rich I don't know what to do with it all. I'll give you ten gold if you spin around three times and cluck like a chicken. Uh, no. Boring. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? 
sounds like uh, he's gonna have hell. He's gonna have a hell of his own making. I want to go to the fair too. Uh, Gren and Gramps. Uh, Gren and Gramps went to the Millennial Fair in Truce. We're keeping an eye on the house. Okay, so we live in the continent of Truce then. That's good to know. Again, just little bits of world building. Oh, right, this guy. I'm the piano man. What do you want me to play? Uh, let's go with something upbeat. Hell yeah. <laughs> Everyone's off to that festival. Bunch of lazy sot. <laughs> Four centuries ago, a woman named Fiona died, trying to revive the great forest that once flourished to the north. It's a sad tale. I've got some spiced jerky, but I've been saving it for a special occasion. I might let it go for, say, 9,900 gold? How about it? Oh. Uh, we don't exactly have that much. I figured. Although, can we come back and buy it? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. It's not like a one-time thing. Some monsters can co some monsters can coexist with humans. Take that piano player for instance. Yeah, how he's playing an entire drum system kit whatever on a piano is actually really impressive. <laughs> I mean, he's playing the lead, the rhythm, the bass, the drums, everything. Oh, wait, I've already been in here. But yeah, that guy said something about the forest to the north, and... Well... Doesn't really look like there's much of anything, so... Yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and take the ferry back, and then... I suppose we can take Meryl home. <laughs> Again, she never exactly told me where it was, but... We might just have to use our intuition just a little bit on this one. <laughs> plus I love, plus I kind of just love the little boat sprite. we go. <laughs> Had a nice little mini adventure. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should introduce our mom to our new friend. Oh my god, the cat, right. Okay, Meryl, well, we might be standing a little close, but this is the cat. And he is super cute and fluffy and orange, and I love him. Anyway, what's up with you? Well, this is a pleasant surprise. I've never seen you bring around any girls, except for Luca, who's this pretty new friend. Um, I'm Meryl. Um, nice to meet you. Meryl, you say? Have we met somewhere before? I swear I could recognize you. Uh, perhaps it's just my imagination. <laughs> and then, you know, Meryl just backs up like, uh, Chrono, get us the hell out of here. Um, I could go to the mayor's manor. There is a tutorial there, but I think we're fine. Uh, actually, you know what? We visited this residence in the past, so how's the family looking now? Assuming it's even the same one. <laughs> a man's never too old to collect silver points. That's the spirit. Something tells me I'm as happy now as I'll ever be. Like in a good way or in a bad way because if this is it then it's kind of depressing isn't it hmm I mean it depends how you look at things although we can go to Luca's house how are things looking Hmm, reducing the form factor of a bipedal robot without compromising his balance is tougher than I thought. Uh, oh, Chrono, uh, hurry up and escort the princess back to the castle. Ah, so that's where she lives. 
<laughs> I was gonna bumble around like an absolute idiot until someone actually told us. Just because, again, I... I kind of just wanted to, you know, play up the, uh... I don't know, just, I guess, following the NPCs a little bit. Although... Is this? Okay, no, no. Nothing there. And again, uh, you can actually see the enemies, like, roaming around here. However, if we kind of hug some areas, we should be fine. Actually, you know what? Let's just go around this way. Because again, I do not want to get overpowered. This is a game that you really need absolutely no, um... Or maybe not absolutely no. You really don't need much in the way of grinding for, like, levels or experience or anything. But, I don't know. I kind of want to try and keep it to an absolute minimum, as I said before, just to challenge myself. A mysterious force seals it shut. Interesting. Well, you know, we are here. So, I guess, let's do this. Princess Nadia. Are you all right? Where on earth have you been? We heard you were abducted. We had soldiers com uh, combing the entire kingdom for you. Hm. You, back there. You're the one, aren't you? You're the one, are you? You thought you'd kidnap the princess. No, Chrono only... Seize him! Seize the filthy terrorist! He deceived our princess and plotted to overthrow the crown! No! No, you mustn't! Okay, well, I'm maybe starting to understand a little bit why she ran away now. Stop this right now! What are you fools doing? But uh, Her Highness, the, the princess said... It doesn't matter what she said. Seize him! Chrono! Oh no. Well, there we go. Again, starting to understand why she, uh, why she might have run away, or snuck out, or or, you know, whatever, while disguised. I, your Chancellor, shall serve the Prosecutor. And I, Pierre, represent the defense. That is how you say that name, right? It is Pierre? Pierre? Piery? Pyre? I have no idea. Members of the court, I will now bring forth the defendant, Chrono, who is charged with the abduction of Princess Nadia. <laughs> I do love, like, the people in the foreground. Or, you know, like, the bottom, like, corners. As well as, like, the, the upper corners. Th this whole area is just, I don't know. It's kind of cool. What shall be his fate? To burn at the stake, perhaps? To feel the tickler? Or to hang upside down? Or shall we employ the guillotine? Uh, no you. The choice is yours, good jurors. Now, let us begin. Uh, we shall first hear the testimony of the defense. Chrono's charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, how could he be guilty of a crime that never occurred? The prosecution would have you believe that the defendant kidnapped the princess. However, the truth is quite uh, to the con- uh, con- con- oh, I God, I cannot talk. Uh, contrary. Not only was their meeting a coincidence, but it was the princess herself who asked Chrono if she could join him. That is true. Is this true? Who is responsible for initiating contact? I mean, I tried to stand there and let her run into me, if you want to be technical. 
but she was the one who, like, initiated conversation and everything with me, so... Oh, God. Um... On the other side, if you think about it, I was standing there peacefully, and she was running circles around me, making it impossible for, <laughs> impossible for me to leave. So, uh, again, this is worded in such a way that I feel like we're going to be at fault no matter what. And this is the part in the game where, depending on everything that you have done up to this point, you will have, like, different consequences. So, I'm gonna say Meryl was. Are you so certain our witnesses say that you were the one who bumped into the princess? That is not what happened. I have it on recording. That is not what happened. <laughs> Having subdued the princess, the defendant then coerced her into visiting Luca's little sideshow. There were countless witnesses to this. Shortly thereafter, both the princess and the defendant vanished. If that's not criminal abduction, I don't know what is. You mean, like, similar to, uh, her just disappearing from the castle? In which case, uh, I think you need to be charged as well, buddy. Several other acts have also been brought to my attention that call the defendant's character into question. Objection! This cannot possibly have any relevance to the case. Uh, care to respond, Chancellor? Chrono's character is at the very core of this case, Your Honor. This evidence will show that his testimony cannot be trusted. Very well, we have nothing to hide. I would like to call a witness who can vouch for the defendant's good character. Oh, and who might this be? It's a little girl. That man probably... That God, I, I can <laughs> I cannot speak. Um, that man brought me back my kitty. Thank you, mister. How about that? The man before you is a fine, upstanding youth. He deserves to be honored, not to put on... Not be put on trial. Whew, looks like they're buying it. The real issue here is motive. Was there any motive for this good uh, youth to kidnap Princess Nadia? Uh, no, there was none. Pardon me, but I believe the motive was quite clear. Greed. Her fortune did tempt you, did it not, Chrono? Uh, no. I don't give a shit about that. I mean, hell, we didn't even know she had anything, so how could that even be a factor? Are you sure you are not te uh, in the least bit tempted? No. Calm down, you freak. <laughs> Very well. No more questions, Your Honor. I mean, if anything, it sounds like someone's projecting onto us a little bit, huh? I believe is I believe it has been I believe it's been made quite evident that my client is a fine and virtuous young man. The defendant the defense rests, Your Honor. Members of the jury, it's time for a verdict. If you believe the defendant guilty, stand to the left. Innocent to the right. <clears throat> Not guilty. Guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. 
Yeah, I guess technically by, again, answering that technicality incorrectly. It probably made us look a little bad. Not guilty. Although, it is looking pretty good in our favor. Not guilty. Guilty. Okay. Well, I mean, two to five. That's pretty good, I'd say. Order in the court. Order in the court. A verdict has been reached. The defendant has been found not guilty. But even if he did not kidnap the princess, the fact remains that he aided her in her flight from the castle. I sentence the accused to three days of solitary confinement as punishment. Take him away. Stop! P princess Nadia. That is quite enough, young lady. But, but, father... All I asked for you was to remain at the castle and behave like a princess. What is done is done. Even royalty must obey the laws of the land. Leave the rest up to the chancellor and forget about your little escapade in town. We are through here. Chrono! Yeah. So yeah, there are actually a lot of things that you can do, and it, it doesn't matter necessarily how you answer them, at least some of them. Um, you can try and lie about some of them, you can try to, I guess, answer truthfully earlier or whatever, but there are actually quite a few actions, even ones that I didn't do, or basically answered in a specific way that kind of skewed things differently that will actually drastically change your outcome there. And I think this is such a cool way of actually introducing basically the idea that, hey, from here on out, every little thing you do might have consequences. Like if there's any way in any game that I can at least think of off the top of my head, this is probably one of the coolest ways to get that point across. This man is a sedationist. Wait, sed, sed, seditionist? You know what? I know what it means. I just can't think how to say it. This man is a seditionist who meant to overthrow our kingdom. He has been found guilty by trial. I trust him to your care. So, this is the monster who abducted the princess. His execution is in three days hence. See that he is still here to attend it. Execution? I don't recall hearing anything about that. No cause for concern. There's only been a small delay in the paperwork. Or do you mean to question me? Uh, never, uh, sir. Uh, guards! Oh. Might we have another Chancellor who's maybe, you know, causing... It, it, I guess, internal turmoil in the castle. Uh, take the prisoner away. All right, buddy, let's go ahead and have a nice peaceful walk. And okay, that's cool too. Well, HP and MP restored. A, sympathi a sympathizer from your trial brought you that for you. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. Okay. Two ethers. Oh, hell yeah. We can finally do something about that. And you know what? Let's see real quick. Uh, TP needed 52. That might be the only bit of farming that I'll end up doing. Because basically the way that you unlock 
new abilities, it isn't actually uh, basically like with experience or levels. Every enemy has like a certain amount of basically TP or technical points, or uh, not technical, uh, technique points, I think. And there are some enemies that you can farm that don't really give a lot of experience, but do give a lot of technical points or uh, technique, yeah, whatever they are, TP. So, yeah. But for the time being, days remaining until execution, two. Well, maybe we'll just go ahead and do a quick save. The trial. And you know what? Maybe we could just try leaving. Pipe down, you. What if I don't? Pipe down, you. Uh, again. What if I don't? Oh, how many times do I have to tell that filthy? If you won't quiet down, I'll quiet him down. Open the door. Ah, like that. We now know how to open doors. You know, assuming we survive this. <laughs> That's what you get for not doing what you're told. Well, foolish you. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Yeah, so there's actually a few ways you can go about this. You can actually just wait for your execution. Or, you know, you can pester the guards and try and make your way out that way. Earn 10 experience. Cool, cool. And a potion. Hell yeah. Although, there are some goodies over here, so... Oh. Well. That's cool. Actually, I'm trying to think. Do I want to use the other reshade for this? Nah, it's fine. Although, I did actually just remember. I think I want to turn the Gaussian blur off. It's not like it makes that big of a difference, but I don't know. When you have like a bunch of like pixel art and stuff, I kind of just like having it slightly blurred. So, yeah. Anyway, I guess it's time to kind of explore around a little bit. And I think, oh no, it's this way. Um, well... <laughs> there are a few ways to go. And to be honest, uh, he is unconscious. Okay. Sometimes you can loot, like, potions and stuff off of them. However, we do have a little loot room here. An ether. Nice, nice. A mid potion. Hell yeah. Another mid potion. And ether. But yeah. Um, actually, can we... Okay, no, no, no. Before they fixed, like, the widescreen version of this, since, again, it was built for, originally, for, like, a, I guess, a, what is it, a 3-4 screen? Or aspect ratio or whatever, rather than, like, a 16 by 9, or 9 by 16? Whatever the standard definition is, you could actually just see another part of the dungeon over to the, like, to the right. Just because that's basically how the stuff in game is kind of laid out. Oh, hey, would you look at this. And to be honest, this probably will kill me. <laughs> There's really no point of coming over here. But I thought, you know what? Let's give it a try. So, so, you're the one who's gone and slipped his cell, eh? Yeah, Gailer. All right, buddy, if you'd like to maybe not, that'd be awesome. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> okay, so that does 50. Oh, okay, you know what? If you can just keep missing, that'd be awesome. Oh, we are... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we did it. Wait, how? Oh, another ether, okay. <sighs> they don't pay me enough for this. <laughs> Again, it's just kind of a fun little... Actually, you know what I should do? 
Uh, we should probably use at least a few of these. There we go. Yeah, um... I don't know mechanically what's up with that guy. But I do remember him being significantly harder. Oh no. And of course the game crashed. Actually wait, if I hit resume... This takes us to the trial. Oh hell yeah, okay. It is one kind of nice thing, is despite this game kind of not running super well, it does have like a, basically like a bookmark system. So it, it's not necessarily like an autosave, but there is, oh, of course I can't even select it here. Uh, but yeah, you can kind of, it kind of functions a little bit like a quick save in a way. So I'm debating if I want to, I, I, you know what? I should probably save here again. The thing's not, the, the bookmark thing, like, isn't super reliable, but, yeah. Um, you know what? I already know how to get through these guys. <laughs> They're kind of just, like, a really annoying kind of fight. So, I kind of want to just avoid it, if at all possible. And again, that one does not open all the way. Uh, you know... How many? Okay, so everything up to this point has given us two points. Uh, I'm debating if I want to. Hey, you know what? We're trying. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Is this? No, no, that isn't the one. I really don't want to do too many fights, as I've said God knows how many times before. And then there are going to be a few required fights, which, speaking of. There he is. All right, buddy. Well, have you thought about maybe not? Ah, yeah. These guys are actually kind of cool because they'll like basically just walk up to you and you have that much time to kind of prepare. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Cyclone. I can hit both of them. Oh, God. We yeah, got these guys will very quickly brutalize you if you're not careful. There we go. 20 experience. Does it say? Ah, uh, 2 TP. Okay. I couldn't remember if it actually said that or not. Also, again, I love, like, the slight manipulation to give it, like, kind of the two-dimensional, or maybe not two-dimensional, but, like, the side profile kind of look. It is really cool. Although, wait a minute. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just leave the Gaussian blur on. I feel like it kind of helps, like, keep the shade proper. Ooh. Ah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, again, we can kind of sneak up behind them. Ooh. And basically knock them out. But if I remember right, I think this was mostly, like, RNG. There we go. <laughs> he is unconscious. Obtained a mid-potion. Hell yeah. Okay, now let's just see. Ooh. Just gotta get around him. Okay, he's clear up that way. Uh, but there is another one over there. I'm going to try and wait for, like, a double turn. Yeah, there we go. Hell yeah. He is unconscious. Obtained a mid-potion. <laughs> That's the other thing, is you get mid-potions from them if you knock them out. So, yeah. Oh. Who might you be? Help me, pl please. Uh, free him from the guillotine? Well, you know, we were about to be executed for no reason other than I guess the Chancellor just decided so, so yeah, why not? A 
thank you. That was close. I'm Fritz. Oh. Well, that explains why he just, you know, wasn't coming home. My father runs the market in Truce. Stop by if you're ever in the area. Hmm. I'm beginning to question Meryl's family. Or, well, I guess her family's government or whatever. Seems like it has a lot of issues. Actually, wait a minute. How much does a mid potion? 200? That's going to be overkill. And do I want to use another? Nah, we should be fine. But yeah, basically, if, um, if you basically wait for your execution, if I remember right, he is gone, and they basically put you in the guillotine, and there's like an entirely different sequence of events that play out. I was actually kind of debating on which one to do. Actually, again, to be honest, I was expecting that um, basically the big purple guard, or whatever he is, um, uh, to basically kill me, and then I was just going to let them take me here. So I didn't actually think I was going to get that far this way. Oh, no. Well, crap. <laughs> I was going to try and sneak around. I just, I wasn't sure if it was time activated or like if we had to... I thought we had to walk into the middle of the screen, to be honest. Ooh, 15? That's not good. But you know what? If we can kill one... Okay, there we go. Okay, buddy. Calm down. <laughs> These guys must have been dragoons, because, you know... That is basically like the, the Final Fantasy dragoon whatever. Ah, and we got a level. Really didn't want that. Hey, bronze armor. Well, you know, we are kind of getting destroyed. So, you know, maybe we should just go ahead and equip that then. Actually, then again, we could save these. I could just run back. Okay, yeah, yeah, because the guards are gone. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna run back and, I guess, heal that way. <laughs> Again, we do not have a lot of potions, and if I am gonna stick to this whole thing of only using whatever it is that I find, I'm gonna need everything that I can get. Like, it might be a little unnecessary in terms of difficulty, but at the same time, you know. Sometimes you just gotta change things up a little bit. But yeah, if you get in a fight with those guys, if you attack them while they have their shields up, or I guess in front of them, uh, they basically do like a counterattack. Oh no, you're back. I did not know these guys came back. Okay, hang on. We just gotta wait for that like... Actually, I think... Oh, shit. Well, I forgot to equip the armor too. Ooh. Okay, that actually went way better than expected. <laughs> Kept all of our MP. Actually, wait, does that mean we could just farm them? For, uh, whatever it's called? Uh, do we have speed plus one? Okay, no, no. Yeah, since we're on our own, as we saw from... Well, just that there. I think speed is going to be incredibly important. Since we don't have, like, the party members to kind of make up for, I guess, additional damage. Or healing or whatever. Wait a minute. I'm honestly not sure if these guys have, it like, a set pattern. Actually, you know what? I'm just not even going to chance it. I don't know if I remember right. This one is actually kind of difficult. I'm not sure if I've ever actually successfully done this one. <laughs> Fortunately, he is kind of dumb. Oh, there we go. And another mid-potion. 
but are we gonna have another fight? Nope. Okay, I think we're mostly clear now. Let's just go ahead and, you know, I guess just focus on looting this, uh, I was going to hesitate to call this a dungeon, but this is quite literally just a dungeon. Obtained a shelter, and there is a dude over here. All right, are you okay? Oh. Wow. Well, you are close to freedom, but I guess not that close. Also, again, like one of my favorite things in games is when they make use of silence. So like the fact that there's just like the, you know, the cold, damp, whatever sound of water dripping is actually kind of cool. Oh, but would you look at this? We have a way to scale the walls. And I think... Yeah, yeah, that is the path. So now we can grab that. Shelter. Sneak down that. Yeah, you can tell some people have broken out of this before. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Hey, and a silver sword. Remember that thing that Mechlore was, uh, you know, selling? Is why I really wasn't too worried about it. Like, don't get me wrong, you can get, like, very overpowered very quickly if you really want to sit down and farm for it. And to be fair, you'll probably also be looking a lot better, like, money-wise. Uh, okay, yeah, it was right there. But, uh, you know, it's not necessary. Like, you, we will get almost better stuff, like, immediately after this, too. So, oh, can't, oh, damn it. There he is. All right, guys, uh, have you ever thought about just not? Because I like that solution way better, and I feel like you guys might too. <laughs> there we go. Two more technical points? Hell yeah. Or technique, or whatever the hell they are. Oh. Okay. Uh, somebody, help! Well, we should probably go stop him. Oh. Hey, Luca! Chrono, I came to rescue you! Oh, um, it looks like you didn't need my help after all. Oh, well. Well, we better not stick around here for too long. Let's go. That's one of the things I love about Luca. She's just kind of a bro till the end. And another mid potion. Actually, five of them. Oh no! Why would you give us so many heals and a save? That can never be anything good, right? Uh, nah, I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm totally not just gonna, you know, double check all of the, um... <laughs> All of the everything just to be on the safe side or anything. Uh, defense. Let's see. 35 defense. Speed is 6. Speed is 14. You know, I'm kind of thinking about maybe... Uh, it's either going to be the bangle. Or it's going to be the headband. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to get a little bit more out of the, um, out of the bangle here. <laughs> Especially because, again, her attack is, well, she still has her starting weapon. Actually, wait a minute. Can I give her the, bra I don't think I can give her the bronze armor. No, I can't. Okay. I was gonna say, then we could basically give Chrono the bangle, and then give her the uh, the uh, the speed thing, just to just to kind of make it a little bit more. I don't want to say fair, but I guess a little bit more balanced for me. 
Let's see. Uh, let's just go ahead and grab a couple of these. I want to save the big heals for, uh, I guess, combat. That way we don't have to do nearly as many. Just, you know, kind of a nice way of mitigating a lot of the... Oh, actually, wait, we should probably read this. A classified document has been left lying on the floor. Read it? Oh, absolutely. Dragon Tank Design Specifications. That sounds bad. Attention, Warden of the Guardia Castle Prisons. The head of the tank is equipped with the capacity to repair damage done to the body, an ingenious marvel of engineering. The head has also been enhanced with a shield to prevent damage by lightning and fire, leaving it vulnerable to only attacks with weapons such as swords and pistols. Oh, gee. That's sure indestructible, isn't it? In short, your tank should be effectively invincible, provided no crazed lunatic gets the bright idea to, <laughs> the bright idea to run up and try and hack away at its head with a sword. Guardia Rail Arms Commission. Oh, gee, where would we ever find, uh, you know, a lunatic with a sword or a pistol? Not to mention... Oh, wait, wrong one. Someone with fire. But it does kind of make you think if, you know, she has fire. I wonder who could possibly get lightning abilities. Hmm. Who knows? Anyway, let's get out of here. Oh. Well. That's a thing. What was that? No idea. Let's just keep going. Oh, sweet Jesus. It's a dragon tank. Who could have ever seen this coming? Forward, dragon tank. Crush those conspirators. Okay, well... Attack the head it is. And you know what? I should probably make sure that one of the... Actually, no, we're full health. We can be very, very reckless for the time being. As long as we're doing more damage than it's dealing... Ooh, that might be bad. Yeah, it's not great. But it's also not the worst thing ever. Okay, well, now we need to heal. Yeah. Again, we're just going to do the thing that they said we should not do. Okay, no, no, we're f uh, Should we heal her? Uh, we also kind of need to keep focusing damage. And you know what? Chrono does have the speed to make up for it, so might as well take advantage of that. Yeah, in a way, in this game, Chrono is actually very similar to, like, Cloud in Final Fantasy VII, where he can kind of approach combat in almost any way. If you need, like, you know, a brawler, he can do that. If you need a healer, uh, well, no, no, he can kind of do that. If you need a mage, he's also pr fairly good at that. So, yeah. It's something I do really like about, I guess, a lot of, like, character stat design. Oh, and there we go, which means... It's fire world time! <laughs> because again, there's nothing now defending it, although we do need to heal. Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, okay. Yeah, cut that really close. You know what? Let's just maybe. Ah, damn it. Okay. Well, I forgot. I. Oh, Chrono is dead. Yep. Yeah, I kind of forgot that I didn't want to use regular potions. I want to use the big ones. Okay, but you know what? Uh, Athenian water. Uh, let's see if we can get him up in time. Okay, he comes back with 50, which means mid potion. Come on, come on. Okay, we're good. Now he should be back up. Fire whirl. Okay. <laughs> It got a little rough there for a moment, but it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll have Chrono on healing duty. And then... Oh, no, 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 no. 
Ooh, okay, she survives with one, and then... Damn it. All right, well, Chrono's probably dead again. And I wasted a mid-potion. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, he's gonna survive, okay. But yeah, since Luca's slower, we're gonna have her dedicated to, uh, you know, combo selection. It's another thing I love about the flow of combat in this game. Is if you have the slower characters dedicate themselves to... Oh, are we done? Hell yeah. Again, I actually remember this character... Not this character. This game being significantly more difficult. Because I don't think this game scales based off of, like, your level or anything. I mean, then again, I also know it's not that difficult, and it does kind of help that I maybe know where a lot of items and stuff are, so... Yeah. Not to mention just combat strategies. My... my dragon tank! Fix it! Quickly! Uh, how about you don't? <laughs> well, you know what? Don't fool yourselves into thinking you'll get away with this. Oh, oh, don't worry. There's no way I could ever possibly just, you know, walk out of here without helping, right? <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> oh, we're fine. We're fine. It, it, don't even worry about it. Oh, shit. They're escaping. We've got no choice. We'll just have to try and plow through. All right, well, uh, looks like we'll have a bit of escape mission. Oh, shit. They're escaping. Okay, well, you know what? Stop that right now. Uh, Princess Nadia. Oh, well, yeah, no, she looks identical to her ancestor. <laughs> that man is my friend, and you will treat him as such. But, your, your Highness... You refuse to obey my orders? No, I... Uh, forgive me, my lady. Hold it! Right there! <laughs> oh, of course you lived. On your knees, His Grace King Guardia, uh, the 33rd. The 33rd comes before you. I think that's the thir uh, 33rd. Oh, that one guy is just uh, <laughs> bugging out a bit. Father? Silence, Nadia. Your duties come before your whims. You are princess before all else. No, I am not. I'm a person first and a princess second. All of these little excursions of yours outside the castle seem to have a bad influence on you. It's not influence, it's common sense. Nadia! I can't live in this stupid castle anymore. I'm leaving. Uh, Princess Nadia! Come on, Chrono. Don't just stand there after them. No, oh, Nadia. There they are. Don't lose them. Oh, well, we already know what's over here. Surely we are doomed. There's nowhere left to run. Come along quietly. Well, looks like we're just going to have to try and make the most of this. Oh, but what's this? Looks, it looks like a dead end. A, a gate? God, I keep getting their voices mixed up. I keep wanting to give, like, Meryl, like, a bit of a lower, calmer voice that kind of cracks a little bit and then Luca kind of a more consistently high voice but I just don't quite have the vocal range to uh, 
do ladies' voices very well. At least not like a, you know, a variety of them. Come on! Come on! We have no idea where it'll take us! We might not even be able to get back! Who cares? Anywhere is better than here! Princess Nadia! This is totally irrational, you know. Hurry, Chrono. Well, in we go, I suppose. I mean, it's either that or death. Well, they, they, they disappeared? <laughs> 